Welcome to the F5 Certified Professional Certification Program Getting Started video. This video will walk you through the registration process and help you through the necessary steps to get registered for your first exam. Let's get started. One of the key differentiators of the F5 Certified Program is that it is a closed program. This means that candidates must register and submit the required forms before they are eligible for their first exam. This is to ensure exam security and maintain the integrity of the program. The first step to getting registered is to visit certification.f5.com and click on register for an account. Accept the terms of use, then fill out your personal information and the custom questions. Once you've completed the demographic information in the F5 CMS, you'll receive an email asking you to verify your account. Please note, this email does expire, and after that expiration date, you'll have to contact F5 Certified Help in order to get access to your new account. Please take note of the expiration date. Copy your authorization code and click on the link provided. When you've entered your authorization code, you can create a new password. This will take you directly into your new account in the F5 CMS. When you've logged in, you'll need to review and verify your personal information. Once you've done that, read and submit the end user agreement. You'll be directed to your home page. This is the page for all essential information in the certification program. You can also find where you are in your path to certification and what other options are available to you based on your eligibility. Use this as your one location for information about new exams, new study materials, and other opportunities available to you. If you have questions about where you are in the path to certification, consult your home page first. Use the progress bar on the top of the home page. This tells you where you are in the certification process. At this phase in the registration process, you must submit two necessary forms in order to be eligible for your first exam. You can access the forms by clicking on the red buttons. You can also access forms in the CMS by clicking on complete a form in the left-hand navigation. Review the candidate agreement form and the candidate non-disclosure form and click submit. Please note, if you click Save for Later instead of Submit, your forms will not process. You will need to go to Complete a Form, click on In Process Forms, and submit the forms. When you've completed both of your forms, check your email. You will receive an email stating that both forms have been received and are being processed. Please note, it takes 24 to 48 hours for your registration to be processed. You will need to wait to receive an authorized to test email from Pearson View. When you receive that email, you can go into the Pearson View website and register for your first exam. If you try to sign up for your Pearson View account and register for your first exam before receiving that email, you will receive an error message. You must have the authorized to test email first or Pearson View cannot process your new account. Your authorization to test email contains instructions on how to create your new account on the Pearson View website. All F5 certified candidates must create a new Pearson View account for their F5 exams. This helps maintain exam security in the program. If you have trouble creating your Pearson View account after you've received your authorized to test email, please contact Pearson View Help Desk. Once you've successfully created your Pearson View account, you can register for your first exam. Welcome to the F5 certified program and best of luck on your first exam.